My name is Lin Jung Wen. I'm a professor of physics. I also do calligraphy and do Chinese music. I grew up in China, in mainland, in Jiangxi province. I came to the United States when I was 33 in 1979. I came to Chattanooga in 1990. I joined the UTC faculty in that year. I learned calligraphy ever since my childhood, from elementary school to middle school. The materials I used include a Chinese brush, which is commercially available, also, the paper for Chinese calligraphy that can also be purchased from Chinatown supermarkets. And the ink. This ink is not just like any ink. It's one that's designed for doing Chinese calligraphy. The difference is it lasts very long. When you do calligraphy on paper, even it gets wet in the water and you take it in the dryer, all these writings will remain intact. And it can last for a thousand years. And that's the special characteristics of Chinese ink. You can write a Chinese character with any pen or pencil. But to do calligraphy, you got to use Chinese brush. There are all kinds of different brushes. You usually choose some of the better known brands. But I would say each brush has its own personality, has its character. You got to try your luck. You can buy 10 different brushes, and maybe you can get one or two that's really good. Usually, the more expensive ones tend to be better. Next, you got to learn how to hold the Chinese brush, and how to move it, make all these different strokes. It's like the first lesson you learn when you learn Chinese calligraphy. Just like you learn Kung Fu, you got to know some basic stances. Then, Next day is to learn how to write the uh, Chinese characters. Before paper was invented, all this writings, the literature was carved on bamboo sticks. I don't know if I, you guys know that. I still have some of the writings that's directly evolved from the carving on bamboo. It's called a zhuan ti. Calligraphy is closely related to education because all your writings were done with calligraphy with the Chinese brush. Even your exercise, your homeworks were done that way. So usually people take it as a measure of your education and your knowledge in classical literature. One of the important reasons for me to love calligraphy is its close relationship with Chinese literature. Because when you do something, some artwork, so to speak, you also write something that's very classical, very beautiful, either taken from classical literature or poetry, or you make it yourself. So in my room, you see many works that's my own work, even the essays, and of course I did all this calligraphy. 